get ready, it's gonna hurt. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. I'm hungry, I'll... Looking to piss off your parents? You've come to the right place.
I've totally changed my mind. Don't you get tired of coming way. here, Hopkins? Don't you? No rest for the wicked certainly applies to you, it seems. Writing rude words on walls is naughty, Jimmy. Didn't your mother teach you anything? You've been assaulting students in the washrooms. That's just sick. Go see the punishment prefect. Perhaps he can improve your attitude. Now get out of here. Time to pay back the faculty for all their kindness! I don't think you know what kindness means. That's enough. And done. today. Got time? I like being alone with you. Man, I... You know you want to kiss me, baby. If you kiss How once you a day, you'll That's live longer. Jazz. A little closer, That's please. I can't wait to graduate so I can do that all the time. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke! It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me! Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is towny kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Yes, 
Yes, I am. <laughs> Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. Oh, 
Ooh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Boom! Uh-oh, this doesn't look so good. What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. Go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security switch. I think it's in the office. Why is it so hard? Now that we have the power restored, we've got to get to the chem plant. And to do that, we've got to take on Omar. He's Edgar's right-hand man. He's the only one with the key to the plant. I can hurt. 
hurt someone with this. Can't have a switch and not flip it. Finally, you found the right button to press. I don't think I can beat all of them. Hang on, Jimmy. You'll see. Hey, if you Girl, date me now, you you'll be able to tell your friends about it in the future when I made it big. We don't like your kind around here. You can't break me! Don't 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 break me! Over here, Jimmy. Show you how it's really done. 
Don't mess with uh, me now. Using tools. You're a clever one. Ha! Nice try, kid. You'll need more than that to beat me. It's gonna be fun! <laughs> Using a pipe won't help you, Jimmy. I'm still gonna kick your ass! No, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. Done and done right. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls.
trespass. Ever oh. guess you know that is stupid, don't you? Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do, and I smell like meat. Grrr! Grrr! You stink! Those are just you just get caught in their ass! Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend, Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry. Russell will get it. That kind of hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. You idiot! Gary's plans are a load of crap! I should know! 
You don't get it. My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us. Whatever. I'm going to stop you both. Smash you! Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Why doesn't Mom divorce the bomb? Focus, oh, kill me! Don't you dare spill a drop of my blue blood. <laughs> The best! Ted, I need you to help me. Get lost, Jimmy. You ain't nothing. You're just asking for it. Now, Russell, no! I'm all staying in This is awesome. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. Now, Russell, no! Come on, hero. Walk tall, don't you? Be strong! Not so big now, are you? Tell me if you get hard. Johnny Vincent! Back the hell up!
face, you bunch of bitches! That was incredibly satisfying! Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your head? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please. Jimmy is complete human trash. Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin. Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! You proved to be one thing this year, it's slow! You'll never catch me, Hopkins! You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Are you having fun yet, Jimmy? Poor little Jimmy. fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needed a friend. Once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. Look out! <laughs> Careful, don't hurt yourself! Special delivery! Up dominoes. It all fell together so perfectly. You were off wasting your time with whores like Lola. I was in the dorm planning. While you were racing bikes, while you were. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! 
You hate everyone and everyone hates you. Genius! The head likes me. I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> Whoa! I can take you, Hopkins! Step back! You can't do that! Any regrets, Jimmy? Looking forward to- Lay off! Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Mm.